I'm Paul. Welcome back to my channel. As I'm filming this, a two-week period of holidays has ended in the part of Germany where I live, which is Bavaria. I've spent a couple of very nice days in Vienna, the Austrian capital, with my kids. Um, and as always, when I'm away or abroad, I always try to check out some local music retailers and see if I can get some good deals on maybe a pedal or even a guitar. In this case, I came home with this guitar, which is the Squire 40th Anniversary, which is the Squire 40th Anniversary Jazz Master Gold Edition in Lake Placid Blue. Right. Um, they were shelling these out. They were on sale. This is a showroom model. They had a couple of them in stock and I chose the one which I thought sounded and played the best. In this video, I want to review the guitar. Um, but before we start, let's have a look at my pedal setup. Just let me start the pedal cam there. And as you can see, I have the plumes, the Earthquake Devices plumes, which is uh, sort of like an always on uh, effect. Yeah, uh, it gives me a sort of crunchy, nice basic tone. If I want to add some more gain or distortion, I just kick on the first pedal here, which is the Boss FZ1W Waza Fuzz. <laughs> And I also have the Space Echo pedal here, the RE2, but uh, in this case it's only doing a little bit of spring reverb. Okay, um, the amp I'm using today is the Sir Ombre. I'm going into the normal channel here and uh, the setting should be flying into the picture as we are watching this right now. Um, before we dive in, let's have a look at the specs. <laughs> Okay, so let's start with the bridge pickup and as mentioned earlier I have the plumes going and a touch of spring reverb from the Space Echo pedal. Okay, on to the middle position. The pedal setup stays the same, so the first pedal is still off. And I'll try some picking there. the neck pickup and I'll switch off the first pedal and start from there. to the rhythm circuit and again I'll start with just the plumes and a touch of reverb from the space echo.
Okay, so let's roll off the tone control there, see how it sounds. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to compare the Squire Jazzmaster with this Fender Jazz Tully, which is the closest thing to an American-made Jazzmaster that I have in my collection. But it does have the Pure Vintage 65 Jazzmaster pickups, which are also featured in the original series. Okay, so what do I think of this guitar? I have heard other YouTubers refer to the 40th anniversary Jazzmaster as a fun guitar. Personally, I think it's a good guitar. Uh, given the price I paid, I paid 300 euros for it, which is okay. Um, but there are some quality issues which I want to show you. Let's hope that the translate well to the camera. Uh, as you can see, the pick guard here, for example, doesn't align properly with the body. And then on the back side, if you slide across the skunk scribe, you may notice that this feels a little bit recessed from the rest of the neck. It's not very noticeable and it's nothing that really disturbs my playing, but I do want to mention it anyway. Another issue I want to mention is on this particular guitar, a couple of hours into playing this instrument, I encountered some issues with the input jack. I had uh, dropouts. <laughs> When I'm finished filming with this guitar, I'm probably going to send it back and see if they can take care uh, of uh, this issue at the shop where I bought it. But I do want to make sure that I get the exact same instrument back because, yeah, as I said, I checked out a couple of them at the shop and this one was the one which sounded and played the best. If you plan on picking up uh, one of these, be sure to play it beforehand because one of the other instruments I played at the shop had some serious issues with notes dying in the higher registers above the 12th fret. Yeah, but apart from that, um, if you get a good one, I think you will have a lot of fun with the instrument. The pickups sound really, really great, I think. As I mentioned, with this particular instrument, it just plays great for the price of the money I paid. It's okay. So that's it for today. Um, I hope you liked this video. Please support my channel and subscribe. Take care and bye-bye.